What's going on everybody, it's Keith from Keith Keys Productions and on today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Mackie CR5X Studio Monitors. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Keith. Thank you for coming back to the channel. If this is your first time, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to get more videos just like this one. So let's talk about monitors real quick. There are so many monitors out there right now on the market for any situation that you may be in, whether you're a singer, a songwriter, and you just need music to listen to, or you're a producer and you deal with a lot of bass drums, kick drums, and 808s and bass sounds, and you need something that can accommodate that, or if you are a engineer in the mid-range and the high end, it's very, very important to you that you get the clarity out of it that you're looking for. And also, depending on what room you're in may dictate what studio monitor may be best for you, whether your room is treated or it's untreated, or if you're outside or just in an open space, all of these variables really play a part in dictating what studio monitor works best for you. And on today, we are going to unbox and review the Mackie CR5X studio monitors to see if they're good for you. Knife. What we have in the box to pull out the first one, boom. So this is what the monitor looks like. You know what, let's put this on the ground. One monitor, two monitors. They come with isolation pads, so where, wherever you place these studio monitors at, you slide these underneath and it won't rattle your desk and it won't turn your desk into a whole boom box. We have the cables. Uh, so it looks like we just have a three millimeter cable, regular headphone cable. Then we have a three millimeter to RCA cable, and then we have some speaker wire. We got the manual and the paperwork. All right, so I'm editing the video, and I just noticed I never mentioned the price. So the Mackie CR5Xs are $199 at the time of recording this video, and the Mackie CR5 XBT studio monitors are $219. Back to our feature presentation. Okay, cool. So these are what the monitors look like. These are the Mackie CR5-Xs. There are five inch studio monitors, as we can see, it has the five inch woofer. Um, I think it has a, what's this, like a three quarter inch tweeter. You have the volume knob here on the front. You get a little click, boom. Um, you have I'm not sure if these light up. We'll find out in a second. I know that this is the CR5X. Now they do have a CR5X BT. The BT stands for Bluetooth. This is not the Bluetooth versions, but I know that with the Bluetooth versions, this is actually a button and this is not a button. So that's the front. Let's flip it over to the back. Whoa. Boom. All right. Now these studio monitors, they are not the same as you can see when it comes to the back. So the way how Mackie has designed these studio monitors is so that it's affordable and by it being affordable, they were able to work with the internals being powered for one speaker only and not both of them, but this speaker alone will power this speaker as well as this speaker. So this is the active speaker or the powered speaker. This is the passive speaker. So here on the active speaker, we see the inputs you have over here. So you have your two quarter inch jacks, uh, your left and your right input, right? You do have the, um, you have the RCA jacks, you know, and they did give us the cord for that. And the cord for that, give you the cord for the RCA jacks. It's RCA to three millimeter. We also have a three millimeter stereo in, it's unbalanced. That's good to know. Um, 
oh cool so they really thought of this by this being the powered speaker and this being the passive speaker they actually have a switch here that says you know what speaker is this powered speaker so do you have the speaker on the left or do you have this speaker on the right side so it doesn't matter which way you configure it they thought of that and gave you a feature that you saying if you this is on the right side you have a switch to r if it's on the left side you have a switch to the, to the l so that it knows what side to send the right and the left signal to and then also here we have the output speaker wire connection so in order to oh and they gave you a three millimeter cord as well in order to connect the powered speaker to the passive speaker they gave you some speaker wire good old speaker wire to connect the two all right so i say we plug these up and i'll give it a listen and let's compare our thoughts And before we listen to anything, a couple things first. I forgot to mention that on the power speaker, there's actually a headphone jack in the front of it. So you can plug your headphones directly to the front of this monitor. Also, the little dial in the front, that's the volume knob. And it still clicks, so you can cut it off from the front. But it still has an on-off switch in the back. And when I originally plugged it in and cut it on, I was trying to figure out why the speaker wasn't cutting on. And you can see that the speaker's, speaker is on by the white LED indicated. That will only happen with the powered speaker. As you see, the passive speaker does not have the LED light on it, obviously, because it's not a powered monitor. So one other thing real quick. I have the monitors up on my ISO acoustics isolation stands. Uh, now the monitors do come with some isolation pads you can put underneath it to get some separation between your monitor and the surface is actually sitting on. But these monitor stands are worth a lot more, cost a lot more and do a better job. So if you are actually interested in purchasing these monitors, uh, you know, and you want to get more of a separation than the pads that they give you, consider up upgrade into a thicker isolation pad or get some isolation stands. So what we're going to do now is that I'm going to listen to some songs that I had the pleasure of working on, uh, that I had the pleasure of mixing and mastering uh, because I'm familiar with those songs. I know how those songs sound in this room. I know how those songs translate on a phone, in a car, on a laptop. So I'm going to listen to some of those songs and I'll come back with my opinion. One hour later. Okay, so I'm back. And here are my thoughts. This is very good for creators that want to listen to their music in home studio spaces or places that, you know, you necessarily don't need a higher end studio monitor for. These monitors sound good if you want to listen to music on a smaller size monitor. Uh, personally, me, I feel like they made these speakers sound really, really good in the low end, like too good. I can tell a lot of the low end is boosted. A lot of songs that I work with that have 808s, you kind of get an understanding of where the 808 actually sits uh, inside of a mix and on these monitors. Uh, even songs that are well out songs that I reference all the time sound exactly the same uh, that the 808 sometimes was just overpowering the vocals and a lot of other things in the music because of how boosted 
it sounded. So if you really want to impress people when they come over or you want to play uh, something, these are like mini client pleasers in a sense. I mean, if all they care about is the 808 and bass frequencies, but this being a five inch woofer, a five inch driver, they actually do very <laughs> too well uh, in my liking to the low end. Uh, the high end is just about right. The mids, I feel like the mid range, I feel like I don't know. <laughs> the mid range is like, it's there, but it's like not there. I mean, but it's there because you know it's there, but can you tell that it's there? And I know it sounds strange when you're talking about smaller size speakers, that's mostly what you get is like the mid range, right? So you know it's there, but I feel like the bass is so close to the mid range and even the tweeter may not be so distinctly far apart from the mid range that you have a hard time telling what's going on in the mid range. Yeah, but other than that, these speakers sound good. Would I buy them? Yes, I would buy them. I would buy these speakers Probably not for my studio. I would not buy these speakers personally if I'm getting into engineering only because in engineering, you kind of have to at some degree hear what's going on in every frequency band um, and every frequency range. And it's very hard to do that on these speakers. And please consider the price range as well. If you are a music producer and you have a small space, apartment maybe, or a small bedroom, and you just want to get started, yeah, easily, you know, 200. Matter of fact, I would probably go to say that I would buy one of these monitors on like a travel set if I had to record somebody else elsewhere and we just needed something to reference and I can throw this in a bag. I can throw these monitors in a bag. That's how small they are and take them with me. I would buy these monitors, but I kind of wouldn't buy these monitors to necessarily use to make accurate decisions off of. But other than that, they sound amazing to me for the price range that, that they are. Mackie does a very great job in creating products that works for uh, every different, different application. And these monitors certainly work for the creative. That's why it's called the CR line. Uh, it definitely works for the creative. Uh, they packaged it well. It comes with a lot of features. And like I said, in the uh, if this is for you, then it's for you. But most certainly, these are some decent sounding speakers for the price range in the way how they have packaged it. And the best thing about these monitors that you see right here is that I'm giving these away. Hold on. Not only am I giving those away, ah, I got another pair to give away as well. See, this is what happens when you order one pair for the giveaway, but they ended up giving you two. So I'm giving both of these pairs of studio monitors away. As of right now, today is June 16th, 2021. And I have to put the date here because no matter how long ago my old giveaways are, I still get comments on the people asking me, when is the giveaway over? Today is June 16th, 2021. This giveaway is over July 9th, 2021. And if you want a chance to win, one of these two pairs, because I'm giving both of them away, you can click the link in the description below. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, these studio monitors don't just come with just the studio monitors and the stuff to hook up studio monitors. Mackie actually gives you Pro Tools first, which is Pro Tools entry version uh, to their software. So if you don't have any, uh, if you don't have a DAW or any recording software, congratulations. You will also get Pro Tools first with your monitors. So like I said earlier, these are some very good monitors. Now, depending on what space you're in, depending on what you're working on and how you will want to use them will dictate if they're right for you. But those, that's my take on the Mackie CR5X Studio monitors. Like I said, if you want to enter this uh, the giveaway, you can click the link in the description below. And that's it. And before you go, if you would like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.